my friend Jay. Jay's here with me today from Adeco. And um, Jay, I've been on like a mission here in the last year trying to tell people there are jobs in this town. And, and now we have jobs that we can't get filled. Uh, I mean, is it so much production going on in our town? It's exciting, but now we have the reverse problem. We can't find enough people, right? That's right. I mean, it, it, what a good problem for a town to have, but if you're Jay, it's not a good thing. So tell me what you're doing. Tell, tell me the mission. We've been talking about you for weeks. So, are, are people recognize you on the street now? Uh, they, they do, actually. Uh, yeah. I had a guy that, uh, that approached me this morning at one of my distribution facilities and said that he saw me on uh, actually your, one of your channels yeah. um, while he was waiting for his oil to be changed at Jiffy Lube, so that was kind of exciting. You bet, you bet. <laughs> so we're going to make Jay, Jay is already a star, but uh, you're serious. I, I don't think people quite taking y'all serious when you say you've got 800 jobs to fill. I mean, it just because it sounds unreasonable for here. It's, it's a little mind-blowing. Yeah. It is. Um, I work for a company called Adeco. Adeco yeah. is the largest human resource solution firm in the world. I did not know that. We employ about 100,000 people a day in, just in the United States alone. Wow. Which puts us at, as the fourth largest employer in the, in the country. Okay. Um, as a part of that, a uh, segment that I manage for um, Adeco in Martinsville is an on-site through eBay Enterprise. And mm -hmm. what that means is... Uh, we staff specifically for eBay Enterprise here in Martinsville. Right. So they're your, they're your client here. They are my client. Right. Very large client here right. in Martinsville. Right. Um, in terms of square footage, they have the largest distribution center in the world. If you put all the buildings together, we've got more square footage here in Martinsville than anywhere else in the world. Right. So with that comes a, a need for a lot of people to put out packages and products during especially during the and holidays. And you don't have to be a brain surgeon to do the job, do you? No, you don't. You, you think don't. I you think I could do it? I think you could. I think you do it well actually. <laughs> yeah. But I, I you know, one day I want to go there and do it. Well, you're welcome to come down anytime <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll put you in a spot. I mean, that's exciting. You know, and I actually got to tour the facility. And first of all, I was amazed it had air conditioning. It was cool. It wasn't really hot. That, that's one of the perceptions is if you're doing manufacturing or or you're in this d distribution stuff that it's a sweatshop, and it's not. It's, it's really nice. Air, it was, I mean, and, and even in the wintertime, you got to have an air conditioner sometimes because it's got so much going on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not your, your typical warehouse environment. Uh, State-of-the-art facility. Yeah. Uh, it's very well organized. Yeah. Um, there is a lot of activity, a lot of product going in and out of the, the facility all the time. High-tech stuff going on. High-tech stuff. We've got, uh, you know, state-of-the-art inventory management systems. Um, it, however... Uh, there, there is general warehouse work that is needed immediately. And what I mean by that is... Like tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow or yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, I mean, this sure. Is, all right, now, a lot of people ask the question, and I'm going to put the, our phone number up on the bottom of the screen, too. I want you to write these numbers down. People that are watching this in Carolina, I understand that there are not enough people coming from Carolina. Am I right on that? You're right. I mean, because if, if you're Jay, you have to draw the map, and especially like in the Ridgeway operations. I mean, we, we have so many people down in Eden that need jobs and Madison and Stoneville, and those folks are eligible, just as eligible as the folks in Virginia, they need to cross the line, tell your friends and neighbors to come on to Virginia. Don't be afraid to cross the line. You bet. We've, we've got about 150 people working for us right now that come from that Stoneville, Madison, Maiden, Eden area. I mean, we're not tapping it, are we? I think I think there's some room to grow right. in that area. There, there's uh, we're, we're told that there's um, a couple local distributors that are that are shutting down or considering shutting down here shortly. Right. Um, and with that, create some new opportunities, right. and, and we have those opportunities available. All right. Now, I do want people to call me up on the show uh, and ask me questions about the job. I don't want, if, if you somebody that worked there and, you, and you're not there anymore, I don't want to take that job right now. I want to hear real questions from people that that have about the job. Uh, you know, what, what, you know, what can they expect? Uh, what, what do they expect? You know, what, what's the pay? I'm going to ask you that right now. What kind? Of, what can they expect to pay? What's the pay? Uh, we're at eight and a quarter to start, okay. all the way up to nine seventy-five to start. Right. Okay. Um, Depending upon the position that we hire you for. You forgot about overtime. that You do overtime right now, right? Yeah, and getting to overtime, there, there's, there's a huge opportunity right now with overtime. Um, during the peak season, which is now up until uh, about two weeks before the end of the year, yep. is, is, our, is our highest production time of, of the year. Right. It is necessary at times that during volume spikes that we, we ask people to work overtime or pe perhaps schedule them overtime. Right. And as a result, we have some folks that are able to get 10 to 20 hours of overtime per week. Right. How about different shifts? Different shifts. I have everything available right now. Every hour? I have 18 <laughs> different shifts, uh, wow. which, which means in-out times at 18 different points throughout, throughout the week. 
Uh, we hire specific or generally for first, second, third, and weekends. But within that group, I've got sub sectors of shifts that that have different in out times. So I've got several different shifts for first, second, third, and then weekend shifts. Right. You know, I told you, Jay, my job is I'm gonna be like your biggest cheerleader out here. I got my horn, and you know, we got Christmas parades coming. Um, and, and and my thing is that that unemployment right now should be at about zero percent. I mean, or like minus two percent. But but right now it's still high. I don't understand it. What's your question about the job? I was wondering if he uh, uses forklifts in the warehouse. Do you use forklifts? Yes, sir, I do. In fact, uh, equipment operators are a big need for us this year. I would encourage you to call 855 for adeco and apply. Um, we, we employ a remote support team that can take your pre-application over the phone and set you up with an interview. Uh, where do you live, sir? I live in Martinsville, and I have 30 years' experience in forklifts and backhoes and all that. Oh, great. Um, yes, we, we do employ forklift drivers. Um, I've got all, position, all, all shifts available in that uh, position. Um, if you live in Martinsville, they'll probably set you up with an interview at our recruiting center in Martinsville. And by the way, I've got one in Martinsville and in Ridgeway, right, right. which is why I asked this gentleman the question. Outstanding uh, 30-year record uh, safety award. Should he bring that to the work? Do you bring all that stuff? Yeah. So he, he would. Uh, the only thing that we would require at that point is to do his pre-applicant work over the phone. We set him up for an interview in the office. Uh, from there, he would take a assessment test. Don't and, I, uh, I have to get back with him in a minute. Okay. Got take, that's we, all right. got, we got people calling us from everywhere. <laughs> We already have messages. Yeah. Um, we take an assessment test uh, through a deco, and then we put you into training, assuming everything goes goes well with your hiring process, which I'm sure it would, and we get put you to work almost immediately. Well, that'd, I, be, that'd be great. Like I say, you know, I, I hadn't lost nothing. I don't have to take, knock the dust off because, uh, you know, in 30 years I've drove every kind of forklift it is. Well, that's exciting. So, I mean, forklifts. I mean, what what other kind of things position? Thank you so much. What other positions are you looking for? A pickers. What's a picker? A picker is something, uh, a position where someone physically goes to a shelf and picks a product off the shelf and okay. puts it on a cart. You know, and, and, you know, when, when somebody that likes to exercise, when, when a picker be the, because well, like, you, you get to do a lot of movement, don't yeah, you? Yeah, there, there is a lot of move, constant movement necessary. Yeah. Um, yeah. You've got a, you got a cart, a roller cart that you pull behind you. Um, at the point that you fill that cart up with product, it goes to a different area uh, where you would have a packer. A right. packer is a person that assembles the order packs everything into a box, um, properly seals the box, and then it goes down an assembly line into another area. The favorite machine that I saw the other day when I was touring the facility was the machine that, like, like it, it, it uh, had a shelf for each person that was getting an order. And, and they would, like, um, it, it would, they would throw the product in, and if they threw the wrong product in, it would, it would like, all the lights would go on, and they couldn't put anything else in. Yeah. So it's, it's that high tech. And th this is a facility... There's a gentleman there showing, uh, you know, and he was really excited about his his factory. Or yeah, that's Jason Mess. He's a senior ops manager yeah. with uh, with eBay Enterprise. They work yeah. very closely with Jason. Yeah. He